absolutely absurd, Hammond said in the control room, listening to the reports over the radio. It must be a bird egg. That's all it can be. The radio crackled, and he heard Malcolm's voice. Let's do a little test, shall we? Ask Mr. Arnold to run one of his computer tallions. Now? Yes, right now. I understand you can transmit this screen in Dr. Harding's car. Do that too, will you? No problem, Arnold said. A moment later, the screen in the control room printed out. I hope you're satisfied, Hammond said. Are you receiving it down there on your screen? We see it. Everything accounted for, as always. He couldn't keep his satisfaction out of his voice. Now then, can you have the computer search for a different number of animals? Like what? Arnold asked. Try 239. Just a minute, Arnold said, frowning. A moment later, the screen printed. Hammond sat forward. What the hell is that? We picked up another compi. From where? I don't know. The radio crackled. Now then, can you ask the computer to search for, let us say, 300 animals? What is he talking about? Hammond said, his voice raising. 300 animals? What is he talking about? Just a minute, Arnold said. That'll take a few minutes. He pushes the button on the screen. The first line of the total appeared. I don't understand what he's driving at, Hammond said. I'm afraid I do, Arnold said. He watched the screen. The numbers on the first line were clicking. 244, Hammond said. What's going on? The computer is counting the animals in the park, Wu said. All the animals. I thought that is what he's always did that. He spun. Nedry, have you screwed up again? No, Nedry said. Look up at his console. The computer is allowing the operator to enter an expend number of animals in order to make the counting process faster. But it's convenient. Not a flaw. He's right, Arnold said. We just always used the base count of 238 because we assumed there couldn't be more. <laughs> Wait a minute, Hammond said. These animals can't breed. The computer must be counting field mites or something. I think so too, Arnold said. It almost certainly an error in the visual tracking. But we'll know soon enough. Hammond turned to Wu. They can't breed, can they? No, Wu said. Where are they coming from, Arnold said. Damned if I know, Wu said. They watched the numbers climb. Over the radio, they heard Genaro wondering how much more, and then they heard Lex getting hungry, and asked when they will be going home. On the screen, there was a flashing error message. An error, Hammond said, nodding. I thought so. I had the feeling all along there must have been an error. But a moment later, the screen printed. Now you see the flaws in your procedure. You only tracked the expected number of dinosaurs. You were worried about losing animals and your procedures were designed to advise you instantly if you had less than the expected number. But that wasn't the problem. The problem was, you have more than the expected number. Christ, Arnold said. There can't be more, Wu said. We know how many we released. There can't be more than that. Afraid so, Henry. They're breeding. No. Even if you don't accept Grant's eggshell, you can prove it with your own data. Take a look at the compi weight graphs. Arnold will put it up to you. Notice anything about it? It's a Gaussian distribution, Wu said. Normal curves. But didn't you say you introduced the compis in the three batches at six months intervals? Yes. Then you should get a grasp with Pete for each of the three separate batches that were introduced, like this. But you didn't get this graph. The graph you actually got is a graph of a breeding population. Your compies are breeding. Wu shook his head. I don't see how. They're breeding. And so are the Othnelia, the Myosaurs, the Hypsies, and the Velociraptors. Christ, Muldoon said. There are raptors free in the park. Well, it's not that bad, Hammond said, looking at the screen. We have increase in just three categories. Well, five categories. Very small increase in two of them. What are you talking about, Wu said loudly. Don't you know what this means? Of course I know what this means, Henry, Hammond said. It means you screwed up. 
absolutely not. You've got breeding dinosaurs out there, Henry, but they're all female, Wu said. It's impossible. There must be a mistake. And look at the numbers. A small increase in the big animals, the myosaurs and the hypsies, and the big increase in small animals. It just doesn't make sense. It must be a mistake. The radio clicked, this time with Grant's voice coming in control. Actually not. I think these numbers confirm that breeding is taking place in seven different sites around the island.